Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fortis okay. Focus here at 90 Minds. We're here with Jeff Schwenk, co-founder of 90 Minds from Bottomline Software. Welcome, Jeff. How are you today? Well, thank you, Patty. Nice to see you. Very nice to been see you. Been a while, five, uh, five years, I think, since <laughs> right I've been here. Right about the five years. Yeah. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us My today. My pleasure. Tell our audience about yourself and your company. Well, I'm Jeff Schwenk. Most people don't know me. But uh, in 1999, I had a midlife crisis, and instead of dropping the wife in the convertible, I dropped the job to become a mass, or a, a mass 90 reseller. 90. Yeah, it's been a while, 25 years now. And it was the best decision I ever made. I love the job, I love what I do, I love the product. A lot of things have changed, and I love it all. Mass 90 reseller, who then became the co-founder of the 90 Minds Group. Tell us a little bit about your journey. As a co-founder yes. of the group? Well, back in 2001, here in Palm Springs, was my first Sage, I believe it was Visions at the time. Might have been um, something else. I think they call it Visions. And I got to know a lot of people. I was a total stranger, and all the resellers made me feel welcome. And from there, I got a list of about 15 people who I stayed in touch with. And uh, I sent out an email to them, all 15. And Wayne Schultz, the co-founder with me of 90 Minds, responded. And that began our journey uh, from uh, sage resellers at yahoo.com into about five years later, we started the 90 Minds Group. And at the time, we had about 20 people, and now we have 140, 150 plus, I'm not sure. I'm a very proud member, and this is the power of partnerships. How do you find customers can benefit from these partnerships? I lead off with the fact when I'm meeting a new prospect that in addition to the Sage uh, support and the Sage family, we have a 90 Minds family. And we have um, a, a website that we can post things to and get questions answered. Uh, it's full of terrific people who have a wealth of information that you just have to ask a question and two minutes later you get a response from somebody. And Come it's just great. Coming from Fortis, I can tell you that many of the questions that we get are related to payments. So I'd like to touch upon the payments. What are you here, are some of the challenges your customers are expressing with regards to payments? I think the number one challenge is getting paid and how to make it smooth and easy and a simple click. And with Fortis, that is all a reality. The basic software is built into Sage. You have a little um, nugget of Fortis software that you install, and that opens up the world to the customers so they can send out invoices with a link on their invoice, or they can send out a statement with a link, and it just makes payment from customers so smooth. So many people are used to go online to pay their utility bill, their water bill, whatever. They can now go online and pay that. You mentioned that the 90 Minds Group is a family. We feel the same way. At Fortis, we are also a family. How do you feel about automated, and we can offer this, automated call centers, online applications, security compliance is always there, or do you prefer the human interaction? It really depends on the customer. If you're, it's a younger customer, which I'm starting to see a few more of, they prefer the cell phone. However, for most of my customer base, they want to talk to a person. They want a number to call and say, this didn't process, this didn't get accepted, this card was rejected and I don't know why. I think the human touch is important, very important. When someone does call Fortis, would it be always the customer? Have you ever had to call Fortis? And what has your experience been like? Well, I would call, if I'm having an install program to get them up, set training, 
Once that is happening, I normally don't talk to Fortis. It's always a customer. They may, I'm, maybe I've overlooked something on the upgrade, or they're just having a communication problem with uh, the internet, or, or uh, it airs out because a card was turned down and they don't understand why. So up front, it'd be me. After that, they're in Fortis's hands. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Schwank from Bottom Line Software. Thank you again for joining us at the Fortis Focus at 90 Minds. Thank you.